This is Pat's Two Cents, reminding you that God's into love. But what you got to say, Turkey? (laughs) (laughs) Well, right now is time for preparation. Mm -hmm. Is God running this pandemic thing? to slow things down for us and really he's testing people right now. Mm. He's asking us to go into our bride chambers and prepare ourselves, cut, a, cut off from the world, and asking us to speak to his heart, right? Cut off yeah. all the things that you, you like of the world and, and, and prepare yourself with the Lord. Fast and pray. Yep. And, yeah, yeah. You know, communion with him. Mm-hmm. But also speak to his heart, which is lost souls and children, you know? Yes. And you yes. think that he hurts the most because the closer it is to the time that he comes back and calls on us is the closer he has to call those that he loves to leave from him. And that's what hurts him the most. Yeah. And so at this time, as a body of Christ, what we need to do, right, is to prepare, right? And that if we want to be needs by God right now, this is the time that he's testing us because he wants to see who is willing, yeah. right? To say all we all we want, to say God help needs me, but are we willing to go with Him? And this is the hardest thing to do mm-hmm. because you know you have to let go of so many things. And yeah. it's the hardest thing that I have. This is my most challenging thing that I'm trying to do right now is yeah. fast and pray and, and to give up my time for the Lord. Yeah. What I I truly 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 want to be used by the Lord, and I asked Him, and this is what He says. You know, like you have to lay it down. Right. This is what it means to put off. This is what it means to put the cross, to hold the cross, and to follow Him. And and it's not like you know those who can't do it. You know, it's not like God doesn't love them. But how can you be used if you cannot obey? You know? Right. Yeah. And that's that's what I'm in my heart. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Like the bride waiting in her chambers for the Lord. Uh-huh. And and back in the days when the bridegroom would come and then you know. Pay the pay the price for the bride. Mm-hmm. He would leave to go and prepare a place at his, in his hometown. Right, right. And the the bride would be, you know, every night she would get ready, waiting because the bride. The thing is that the the bride groom would come at a time that no one would know, with his friends, and come like a thief in the night with lamps in their hands and basically go and steal the bride away. To the back to the home place, right? And this is what they do. They, every night they would get, they would prepare themselves. The, the the bride the bride would prepare, put on her makeup, and, and and you know put on her jewelry and wait for her bridegroom to come. Right. And so for us, like as a bride of Christ, what do we do? What does it mean to be preparing ourselves as a bride? What is the jewelry that we are wearing? The jewelry, holiness, and the makeup, what that stuff. It's love and mercy, understanding. Um, devotion, being faithful and trusting God, yes. like learning to love one another and all these things, praying for each other, you know, building each other up, things like that. These are the jewelry that God finds most appealing to uh-huh. us. And this is what we need to prepare ourselves every single day because we don't know when God's coming. That's right. Right? We don't know when the thief comes in the night. So we have to do it every single night, prepare. When you have the time morning, lunchtime, at night, when you have the time to spare, you spare it for the Lord. Right. And that is what it means to be waiting on God. And it's those people because the bride is the one that's waiting for him. And that's the one that he's going to use. Those are the elect. Those are the ones that he cherishes in this moment to be used for him at the end times. Those who will be in the self-same moment, be lifted up, but at the same time brought back with new bodies to be used for the end times. Those those are the people that he's going to use. And if we are willing to give up our bodies right now for that new body, I think that's the thing that we should strive for. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, what's the whole purpose of it then? You know what I'm saying? It's not easy, but it's, I think it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm.